Hello, everybody, and welcome back to episode number 12. Let us pet Mr. Egbert, and let us check the fortune teller. A new trill today. Very good. It is a rainy Friday. Uh, tomorrow is the egg festival. Very cool. We don't have to water our crop, which has 26 more days. And Egbert's bowl is good. We can do some more smelting, of course. Um, and let's take a look at our earth crystal. So right now we have five. And we have at least five copper bars. And I'm pretty sure we'll be good on wood and stone to make the egg press as soon as we unlock it, of course, which we haven't. So we may have to just sell um just the eggs for right now to kind of get uh whoops some money flowing in here well wait we got 20 minutes so um today probably we'll we'll go check for some more spring onions because we don't have any energy at the moment and we can't buy anything yet uh but we will go of course Pet. I don't know why I open the chest when I have the mod to just hit Q and just load everything in. But here we are. Uh, we will, of course, go pet our chicken friends. Who all need a little love. Oh, hopper's empty. Yep, I know. Don't worry, I got plenty of... Plenty of silo. Uh, no, plenty of hay because Mr. Uh, Mr. Bright Chicken here uh, went a little overboard. But we don't talk about that, no. We don't talk about that. We will stop by the traveling cart. Not that we can buy anything, but hey, see what she has for sale. Now, interesting question. If she does have mayonnaise or an egg, are we allowed to... Well, I guess it wouldn't make much sense to buy it and then sell it. But eh, we'll just see. Pumpkin soup. That would be good for luck. Uh, Lingcod, a bait, yellow couch, rare seed. Wow. So, uh, with 1.6, I'm curious if I know in Stardew Valley Expanded, uh, um, she actually gets a, uh, a portrait. So, I'm curious if, um, she will officially get one in 1.6. And then also on that same note, I did see someone tweet out and ask Concerned Ape about Hat Mouse getting the possibility of uh fixing hat mass's house uh which honestly would be nice because like on a rainy days you don't want a house that's all like you know broken and busted up and stuff like that so that would be nice it would be i don't know if maybe if he does add it if it would be like a community center or, or like a um a community project rather uh, that you get through Robin or something else. But yeah, it'd be nice to fix this up. Maybe have some lights for him and uh, stuff like that. Uh, no, don't eat the spring onion. I just want to see. Okay, so we can get the watermelon bed. So the way you get hats is through achievements. So we will pick you up, though, because you are a good energy source. I don't want to turn this basically into, uh, you know, like strict mining so I figured we'd, we'd do some other stuff and things here, like forage for foragey bibbles. So, let's see, anything there? No. All right, let's go up here real quick. Check, we'll put away our uh, watering can. Before we do go to the mines, though, uh, last episode we did get a, uh, a like an official glow ring. We have a small one, and then we have a big one. So. Uh, we will definitely light this puppy up. <laughs> or light this chicken up. There you go. I like that better. Light this chicken up. Yeah. Uh, also, our grass is growing in here very nicely. So that, that'll be good. Um, yeah, and we're really just waiting on the chickens to grow up. Because once they grow up, then we'll be able to get um, another coop going with more chickens and... Uh, it'll it'll sort of uh, snowball, if you will. 
All right. Oh, 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 almost forgot to put it away. Almost forgot. Okay. We do have a fair amount of bars. I will say that we do have a fair amount of bars. All right. So let us go to the mines because we need more of them. Uh, earth crystals, really, but uh, copper ore as well for bars for mail makers. So we are going to have a lot of mail makers is my early prediction by the time this run is done. So, um, you know, here we are on day 12 with not a single gold to our name. But that will all change very quickly. It's like uh, chicken math. Uh, if you've ever heard of that, you know, you, you can't just buy one chicken. You just you can't do it. It's impossible. It's impossible. All right. Now, let us pop some bugs. Bopping the bugs. I mean, the bug meat, I guess, is good for bug steak for energy. Because uh, that did actually come in handy last episode. And it does give you a fair amount of energy. So that'll be uh, something as well. Uh, seeing um, if there are new early game energy sources uh, similar to that. All right. So we definitely do want the copper. Uh, we'll definitely want to upgrade our tools for sure. Because uh, I'd like to harvest those hardwood stumps on our farm. Start doing. Wow, I'm already full. Uh, let's see. What do I have one of? I have one of you. And then I'm going to use my keyboard real quick to switch. And I still got bopped by the bug. Unacceptable. All right. Boom. There you go. All right. Now we can pick this up. I don't think we're going to need quartz for anything. But I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. You know? That that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Oh, that's the way down. I do want to get all this copper and I do want to check really quickly to see if there are any earth crystals down there. Okay, you're gonna give us a little hug, and then I'm gonna return the hug. There we go. Okay. All good in hugs. Alright, there we go. Okay. Get this for the XP real quick. Pick you up. There we go. We may invest in one sprinkler for the ancient fruit. Again, that's just going to be a gift. Basically, we will gift wines. But with the new changes coming in 1.6. Uh, cool, that was satisfying. Um, the uh, The wines and stuff will actually change color based on the fruit. So ancient fruit currently has like a light blue ish type color. So we'll have a light ish blue uh, bottle of wine to uh, distinguish it, which that'll be nice. Um, like you'll be able you, the words are hard. Uh, you'll be able to more easily distinguish it among other uh, like say tomato Pickled tomatoes or something, you know, I was going to say tomato wine, but that, uh, no, well, I guess now I already said it, but yeah, so that'll be good. It'll be, it'll be nice having the different colors for different things. Cause then you can kind of color coordinate and who am I missing here? It's going to be a Dougie, isn't it? Yes, it is. Actually, it's going to be two of you. Really want to get a different sword. Really do. There we go. Okay. Now who am I missing? Is it, oh, you're over here, aren't you? Yep. Okay. Do not die. Whatever you do, don't die. <laughs> uh, there we go. All right. Let's take this opportunity to heal up a bit. Because, yeah, the, the thing about this club is that it's, even though it's got a plus two speed, it's still. Okay. Like, I already got the stairs game, but thanks. It's like, well, maybe you want to, you know, walk a little further over here. All right. 
Okay. No more infested floors, please. Uh, but yeah, uh, the getting a better weapon will be something I would like to do as well. Because even though it's plus two speed, it's still slow. Too, too slow for this chicken. Alright. I am loving all the copper we're getting, though. All right, come here. Mega hug. Oh, mega hug fail. There we go. <laughs> it's like mega hug what? Uh, yeah. Okay. There we go. I would like to see more uh, earth crystals, though. Because that is going to be our limiting factor for sure. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yes. Just gonna ignore you. I'd rather find the way down some other way. So when this episode is go set to go live, it will be April fifth. And 1.6 will have been out for a little bit now, so it would be curious to see how far console uh, update is going to be. Um, which, hopefully, because I know he was really, like, not happy with how long it took for 1.5 to come out on console, let alone the poor mobile players, like the iOS apps and Android. They had to wait the longest, so hopefully... It's only a couple of weeks, and, you know, I don't see it being more than a month, hopefully. But it all just depends, so. Yeah, hopefully um, everyone else doesn't have to wait as long. Because, it, like, it, it's hard for me to wait, and I just have to wait till Tuesday. Like, two days. If I was, you know, if I didn't have a PC and I had to wait for... um for the console or for the mobile update oh i would i would definitely spoil myself but then i i don't have much um self-control when it comes to that like i want to know all the things but then that also ruins it too because then you don't get to explore it on your own and get that initial reaction you kind of get that reaction when you you know figure out what it is but um yeah the only things I'm going to not really spoil, but like say, will be things concerned Apis tweeted. So that shouldn't be anything too spoilery, hopefully. Um, but I know that we will be able to move um, the farmhouse and the pet bowl via Robin's shop. So that will definitely um, lead to some very creative uh, people out there putting the farmhouse in a way like, uh, you know, and then using where the farmhouse used to be for like uh, maybe a chest area or a shed or something like that. I'm just going to go down because it's getting late. No chest on floor 30. We are almost out of energy, but we're going to see how far we can make it. Oh, another floor down. Okay, thank you very much. We might, wow, we might actually be able to get to 35 relatively quickly. I'm just going to check real quick. Oh, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Wow. Okay. Um. Thank you, Lord, because that has never happened in all the years I played Stardew. Like, what, one, yeah, four floors in a row? Every single thing, I'm just, I'm going to get out of here because my health is also kind of low. Not before clearing this rock, but yeah, I've never seen this where all the floors are just available. So yeah, that, that was pretty cool. That was definitely a first for me. Uh, so I'm glad I'm actually recording that when it happened. <laughs> we're going to go home a little, a little bit early, un poquito early, and we're going to uh, smelt some bars here. We've got another 33. Like, we're going to be fairly well set on copper bars, for sure. Fairly well set. So, um, for the mail makers, the copper bar is not going to be a problem. 
and we definitely won't have to buy any from Clint. That's something else. I'm wondering if he'll add what or what I would like to see is um as you build up your relationship with the shopkeepers, perhaps when you max it out or when you get to eight hearts or something, you get like um like a loyalty discount. Maybe they reduce their prices by 10 or 20%, something like that. So that you could um uh, you know, get a little discount, uh, have things be cheaper. Oh, I forgot to. I almost did it, y'all. I almost did it. I almost didn't feed the chickens. Someone is probably screaming at the screen like, feed your chickens. It's not day one and it's raining. And you bought an absurd amount of hay because you don't know how to count <laughs> or remember the number that you said at least. Okay. We we saved it, y'all. We saved it. Yeah, they they'd be they'd be grumpy on their first day as adult chickens because someone, <laughs> aka Mr. Bright Chicken, forgot to feed them. Uh, that would be that would, that would be horrible. Like, um, you said you're all about chickens, and yet you forget to feed them. What kind of chicken person are you? I'd be like, well, a forgetful one. Because I forgot to feed him. Almost. Almost forgot to feed him. All right. Uh, boop. All right. There we go. All right. And we did pet Eggbert. Okay. And before we end the episode, I'm going to leave you with tonight's uh, nugget of love, which comes to us from James chapter 3, verse 13, which says, Who is wise and understanding among you? Let them show it by their good life, by deeds done in the humility that comes from wisdom. And there you go. I pray that that blesses you, and thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, I leave you with... Bok, bok. <laughs>